hi and welcome to the first uh, proper tutorial on how to set up my quest system so to demonstrate to you guys how uh, we'll be setting up this system I'm using uh, a copy of the medicom that the person controller packs uh, demo scene so what I'm going to do is basically set up a very small scenario that's going to demonstrate what you can do with the quest system. So my scenario is going to be something where uh, I'm going to accept a quest from an NPC around this area uh, who will give me a quest to kill three enemies uh, that are present on each of these platforms. So one platform will have one enemy. and along the way i'm supposed to collect two objects from these two chests right here and bring them back to the uh, person who gives me the quest so that i can complete the quest and get a reward so in order to achieve this i've broken this down into a few steps so we'll first talk about setting up the quest manager and the vendor manager then we go on to creating a list of quests creating some npcs creating some currencies and the vendors and how we set up uh, a simple buying and selling uh, sort of environment in the game uh, how we are going to set up our spawners and uh, setting up the checkpoint based save system that I have implemented uh, so this video might be broken into uh, a few pieces uh, depending on uh, how soon I can get you to them because I'm also working at the moment and <laughs> I'm actually on call, so uh, I may have to step out here and there. All right, so let's discuss about setting up the quest manager and the vendor manager and creating a list of quests as our first couple of steps. So it's not pretty uh, difficult to get this done. So I hope you are uh, a bit familiar with the Invent in Invent uh, controller already. Uh, so once you have set up your character uh, with that item manager, of course, uh, you will need to add the request manager object uh, and also you need to add the v render manager object so these two scripts uh, the reason that the vendor manager is separate from the quest manager is in case you do not want to use any vendor manager related functionality uh, these the vendor related events are in these scripts so once you remove it you don't have uh, any vendor related functionality all right so when you take a look at the quest manager script you can see that it has three separate uh, parameters one is the item manager so if your controller has an item manager already you can just select this and drag and drop it and then you need to provide a quest list for this so as of now we haven't created a quest list so let's go into that uh, a little bit later and the next thing is to set up the inventory prefab so you will be wondering if this, this is the same as the item manager's inventory prefab. It does, in, it does inherit from the inventory, but uh, it is a custom implementation in a class called the custom inventory. So uh, this is something I specifically made for the quest manager since uh, the UI is going to change a fair bit, but it's pretty much like uh, what already came with the uh, inventor so it's not going to be very different and you need to use this in both item manager and the quest manager note that since this inherits from the item manager you can directly drag and drop it there so once you're done with that setup all you need to do is to provide the quest list so that's what we are going to do next let's create our quest list by going to inventor quests and create new quest list data so when you do that a quest list data file is going to get created um, on your assets folder so this is one such file that I created so let's delete what we don't need so the file will always be named quest list data and if you need to uh, create a new file once you're done with creating one and you need to swap these here and there you make sure you change this name to uh, something else because the file name like I said is always going to be quest list data so once you've created this file let's go and uh, do the setup 
you need to do edit quests in the list so when you click that you'll get an empty list here so uh, let's talk about the quests we are going to set up so my main quest would be to take down all these enemies and bring me uh, two of these uh, quests quest items but when I break them down to tasks I have four tasks kill enemy one kill enemy two kill enemy three collect and bring me the quest items so it's going to be one main quest with four task quests so let's go ahead and create our task quests first so three of my tasks are going to be of type assassinate so let's create one of these let's say kill enemy one we don't have a quest provider as of yet so let's leave it blank for the moment and I don't need to provide an icon for this the reason we have this icon property in the first place is uh, to give uh, to uh, show something when you go uh, and enter the provider screen yeah and if you take a look at the custom settings you'll notice that we can provide um, a secondary list of uh, a secondary quest list data so uh, even though it's accepting a secondary quest list what i would re highly recommend to you is uh, the way it's currently coded you can only use one quest list throughout the entire quest system uh, the reason being uh, as of now uh, there are certain conflicts that can occur because when you have to when you have a, a couple of uh, quest lists that are related uh, it's going to be a little difficult to pinpoint uh, back and forth between these quests by ID so if there are quests in two separate lists by the same ID it can create conflicts right now so always use the same quest list uh, to uh, to populate your secondary quests if you have any all right okay and apart from the custom settings uh, you can also see that there are uh, very quest type specific uh, settings also such as the assassinate quest settings in this case and if in case this was a gather quest you'll have some gather quest settings okay so we're not going to be using any of these extra settings at the moment so this is all we have for the quest in case you're wondering uh, how this quest is going to be updated by when you're going to ki kill a target so this is mainly a reference list so the actual updates to these quests happens through uh, events based on other scripts uh, that I'll be explaining to you later alright so let's create this quest and create two copies of this quest and rename them accordingly so this is going to be quest uh, kill enemy 2 and this is going to be kill enemy 3 okay so we have set up the three assassinate quests so now we are going to set up the gather quests so I have created a small uh, item by the name sprite so it's sprite that we'll be collecting here so let's give this an objective and a description note that I have selected the quest type to be uh, gather so under custom settings uh, you can see that we pretty much have the same setup but what we are interested on are the gather quest settings so we are going to select an item that we need to gather so we are going to select the item list that's used for the item manager and from this list I'm going to pick up sprite so sprite's going to be the item that I'm going to collect and uh, we need to add a couple of attributes uh, into this quest because you will notice that uh, the gather item is sprite but you have not specified how many of these items you need to collect so specifying the quest amount or the uh, collecting the the gather amount is something very important in the gather quest so you can set this up in the quest amount attribute so i'm going to make this two so it'll be collecting uh, it'll be uh, the objective would be to collect two, uh, one object one sprite of the from each of these quests each of these tests yeah and one more thing I would like to make, uh, make note of is that 
the collection of these items doesn't necessarily have to happen after these tasks have been uh, other tasks have been executed for instance you don't need to kill all of these enemies uh, to go and collect these items so you can kill this guy and as you walk along to the next enemy you can collect this along the way so the progress has to be updated along the way as in it has to be executed in parallel to the other quests so you can uh, add parallel quests you can make any quest parallel by adding the parallel attribute and setting it to true or false by default all quests are non-parallel so they are not set to parallel so you have to make them parallel all right so you will also notice there is something here called deliver this to target so if you need to deliver your items back to a certain target uh, it can be a quest giver or it can be a target of a quest or any other object uh, even a vendor but uh, in this case I'm not going to do something like that so you can leave this blank but if you're going to do that you need to add the autocomplete attribute which will decide if a quest is going to be completed once its objective has been achieved uh, so an autocomplete is autocomplete is set to true by default in all of these quests irrespective of the attribute being maintained so if you're going to deliver this item back to another person you have to add this attribute and disable it so in my case I don't need to disable it so I will just remove the attribute altogether all right so that completes my gather quest so let's just create this and let's create the main quest now so my main quest would be to kill my enemies and bring my sprite so my objectives are going to be kill the three enemies bring two sprite bottles all right. I'll just use the same description here so I'm going to set up an icon for the main quest since it's uh, going to be visible through the quest providers window um, so yeah let's go and choose mana since mana isn't used anywhere here all right and the quest type has to be multiple and you'll notice that uh, once you select multiple there are no extra settings for this and so since this is a nested type of quest we need to add secondary quests into this so like I said before I'm going to use the same quest list to add the secondary quests that we created so you need to add these in the order that you need the quests executed except for the parallel ones the parallel ones can come in any order all right so let's start with the assassinates kill enemy one kill enemy two and kill enemy three and the last which is of course a gather quest and is a parallel quest can come into uh, can come into a, this list in any order all right so once you're done uh, actually let's do one last thing we need to set up a reward for this quest right so the reward for uh, the reward items also we need to uh, set up by uh, setting up an item list so for item lists also what I would recommend is to use the same item list uh, throughout the game okay so once you set up a reward item list you'll see that uh, the reward list uh, gets popped up so as of now there's a small bug where I can't scroll down so what I'm going to do is to take off this reward items list and create the quest and once I'm done with that I'm going to choose my reward list so you'll see that the reward list has been added now so I'll be rewarding this guy with some melee weapons so I'll be giving him a great katana and a great shield once the quest is completed he'll get these items you can add any amount of items and you can even change the attributes you can apply new attributes to these uh, items so it's very extensible that way okay so I guess we are done with our quest creation so let's discuss uh, creating NPCs in our uh, next video Cre setting up some NPCs and probably if you have the time to create currencies and vendors